Welcome to the last day of our self-regulating challenge using a yoga pose. Do you sometimes feel creative, organized and caring in the green zone? And it looks just like that. Well, I have the perfect flow for you that will stimulate you and stretch you and keep you in the green zone where you are ready to learn. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine all the poses that we've been learning so far to create that flow. So let's go. Coming to mountain pose, hip width apart, head over heart and heart over hips. And we're going to put in some movement by flapping. So for the tree pose, start in mountain pose. Yeah, feet nicely flat on the ground, nicely anchored, hands alongside your body to start with. And then lift your right foot and bring it inside your thigh. And once you're nice and stable, branch up. And then slide it down and swap legs. For chair pose, do a little jump so that your feet are slightly wider than your hips and then we're just going to pretend to be sitting down on a chair and hold it for about three seconds. Yeah, keep your feet flat on the ground and make sure that your uh, knee don't go too far forward and you can't your ankles. So for the warrior series, you're going to be stepping forward, a big step, turn your back foot around and square your hips, facing forward, bend your knee, bring your arm up, arms up, look up, you're in warrior one, circles them around and parallel to the ground, lace over your hand to warrior two, and then turn your palm around from your left arm, bring your right arm down on your right thigh, and reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior. And do the same thing for the other side. So turn your left foot in, point your right foot out, bend your right knee, Straighten your back leg, square your hips so that you're facing forward and then take a long deep breath in and bring your arms up, look up, you're into warrior one, bring your arms parallel to the ground, you're into warrior two, and then reverse warrior, turn your right palm up, bring your left arm on your left thigh and so for a cobra, start on your belly with your head on its crown, feet together, flat on the ground, hands underneath your shoulders, elbow tucked in, pointing downwards. Take a long deep breath in, really squeeze your and belly muscles and your bottom muscles and come up and push up and release. 
is back down. Uh, come up on your knees, join your toes together and have your heels falling on either side of your body. Open your knees slightly wider than your hips and sit in between your heels. And then interlace your fingers at the back. Take a long deep breath in, look up. And then bend forward. Come onto the crown of your head and then release your hands on either side of your body. You're into child pose. For camel pose, come onto your knees. Um, knees hip widths apart and then just place your hands on either side of your backbone just above your hips push your hips forward look back and uh, place your left right hand on your right heel left hand on your left heel and push up For seated twist, come in a sitting position, cross-legged. Place both your hands on either side of your body. Take a long deep breath in, lift your arms up. Turn to your right, place your left hand on your right knee and your right hand behind your back and look behind as you exhale. And then take a long deep breath in. Lift your arms up and this time place your right hand on your left knee, left hand behind your back and look over your shoulder or head. And then breathe in and come back to the center. So for shoulder stand, you will need to be laying down on your back Fold your legs up and have your hands framing your upper body. And take a long deep breath in and bring your knees over your head. And that's when you're going to be placing your hands on your back on either side of your back bone. Once you feel nice and secure, lift your legs up into your candle. And to come out, bring your knees over your head, place your hands back down and gently uncurl your spine. So for Shavasana, you're going to start laying on your back, open your legs slightly wider than your hips, and have your toes falling on either side of your body. And you're going to place your hands slightly away from your upper body as well, palms facing up, and your head in line with your spine, looking up. And for that recovery pose, we tend to close our eyes and just go within.
Let's recap. When you are feeling creative, organized and caring in the green zone, do a flow to stay in the green zone where you are ready to learn. Congratulations! You did it! You completed the challenge! How do you feel? Well done for showing up every day and practicing your resilient skills by not giving up. Did you find the challenge helpful? And which day was your favorite one? Let me know by posting a comment below. But it's bye for now.